The EUS4 is the first main click that we see in the Blue Lock series, consisting of Yoichi Isagi, Rensuke Kunigami, Megaru Bajida, and Shigeru Hyoma. These four players were the strongest force on Team Z during the first selection, but out of those four players, which is the strongest? So that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be ranking the EUS4 from worst to best and explaining why I ranked them as such. This is also the first video of 2024 that I'm making and I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for their support over the previous year with this channel alone gaining over 1200 subscribers. It's honestly so enjoyable to make content that people actually like to watch and enjoy and I just want to say thank you again for everyone's support. I'm also starting 2024 with a damn cold which kind of sucks but we're still going to make content just because I can. So if you hear me kind of sound a little bit off that's kind of why. But without further ado, spoilers for the Blue Lock manga and if you are not caught up to the latest chapters, which is chapter 245 as I'm recording this video, click off now, but if you're still here, then let's just get into it. Before I rank the players, I think that I should bring this up first. Despite the ranking that I'm about to give, each of these players are grade A players that are all incredibly skilled in their own regard. My ranking will be based off of overall performance in the games that they participate in, rather than simply looking at the goals scored and stuff like that. In regards to this, ranked last we have the cyborg of Bastard, Rensuke Kunigami. Kunigami is the lone survivor of the wildcard program who is also an ambidextrous shooter with arguably the strongest physique in Blue Lock. Both his lefty and righty shots pack insane power behind them allowing for him to score goals from very far away in relation to the goal. His incredible physique rivals that of the number one player in the world, on paper of course, and also allows for him to perform incredibly strong power plays and physical feats. However, when looking at Kunigami as an overall player, he is fairly lacking despite his current skill set. His debut match in Barcha allowed for him to shine, however his performance in the recent Ubers match left him not really being able to do anything except fail a lone assault. Hopefully during the PHG match we will see him outperform Shido in a rematch, but as of right now, he doesn't have the skills necessary to be ranked above any of the other egoists. Next up is our egotistical main character, ranked third of the egoist 4, Yoichi Isagi. Isagi's brain, eyes, and thinking are all top tier in Blue Lock, arguably the highest skilled in terms of visualization and prediction. His usage of metavision allows for him to be in the perfect position to break down an enemy line, and with a teammate like Corona or Hiyori, he's able to temporarily surpass that of even new gen 11 players. His new lefty shot is also an incredibly helpful tool as well, as his previous big his weakness was being knocked off balance, and this new skill allows for him to be a double threat that leaves his opponents wondering which leg he will shoot from. Now there's nothing necessarily bad about Isagi specifically, however the only thing that I could say is that on his own, he doesn't really have many weapons that help him perform as well as the other two players on the list. I mean his best weapon, being Metavision, isn't something that can help him win a 1v1 against a player with individual skills such as Yukimiya for example, and it does require an ally to truly allow for him to perform his best. However overall, his plays in the midfield as well as with his teammates is what I believe places him above Kunigami despite Kunigami's overall superiority when referring to individual skills. Next up is the monster dribbler himself, Megaru Bachira. Bachira's core weapon is his elastic dribbling which allows for him to intuitively play for his own benefit. His role on FC Barcha is the lead striker which is the only real reason that Barcha is actually scoring any goals. His new weapon, being the Jenga X monster dribbling style, was able to destroy all of Bastard Munchen, including Kunigami, allowing for him to score the first goal of the new Egoist League. His previous feat of being able to essentially solo the entire Japan U20 team, including Oliver Aiku, is also incredibly impressive, considering Aiku was the biggest threat in the U20 match to the Blue Lock 11. He was also able to score on Ubers, which considering they also have Oliver Aiku, and a new Gen 11 defender who was able to lock down Kaiser the entire Ubers match, it really goes to show how good of a player he actually is. Now in terms of negativity, I really don't have anything to say about Bachelor, only that I think this last person that I'm about to mention is way better than him personally. Because the current best of the Egoist 4 is the Red Panther himself, Chigure Hyoma. Chigure's unique muscle development makes him the best and fastest sprinter in all of Blue Lock, excluding the world class player, Loki. His Golden Zone formula maximizes the sprinting ability of his, allowing for him to score not only the first goal against Bastard Munchen, but also score against PXG and Ubers. Looking at his previous feats, the second selection team with Kunigami and Leo was fully centered around his speed, and his weapon was one of the only ones who surpassed that of Oliver Aiku in the U20 match. He was also able to keep up with Kaiser, the new Gen 11 striker, and was also a player that he took notice of due to his incredible talent and technique. Shigeru is by far one of the best players in the new Egoist League and to me deserving of the top 3 spot which is why I believe he deserves to be ranked as the best in the Egoist 4. But that was just my ranking of the Egoist 4, what do you guys think? Also for the question of the video, what other kinds of blue lock videos would you guys like to see from me this year? I want to make more content that was requested by you guys so if you want to see a specific video let me know down in the comments and I will probably make it happen. But yeah, thank you all for watching, like and subscribe for more content just like this and welcome to 2024.